Hi, this is Josh Duncan from Xenos. I'm going to take you through an example of using Xenos Enterprise for managing and monitoring VMware's vCloud infrastructure. Let's start by looking at the Xenos Infrastructure Council. Here you can see all the devices being managed in your environment. We've added a vCloud service director by pointing Xenos at the vCloud cell and providing credential information. By going through the vCloud APIs, Xenos automatically discovers the entire cloud infrastructure and keeps it up to date as things dynamically change. Xenos can monitor and manage performance information inside and outside of vCloud, helping to bridge the gap between your physical and virtual worlds. Inside the vCloud device, we can easily see the device status, device information, and all the components being managed. Let's start by looking at the provider virtual data centers. In this example, we've defined three different virtual data centers that are partitioned by SLA. We can see gold, silver, platinum, and the allocation of resources that have been provided, and the current deployments in these environments. We can also see performance information from a provider view of what's happening inside of the vCloud. Now let's view the organizations that have been configured. From this view, you can see the deployed quota by organization. For example, you can see the Xenos organization has a 10 virtual machine deployed quota and a 50 stored quota. We can see what's currently in use from the virtual data centers, virtual apps, and virtual machines, and we can see performance information. Looking at the virtual data centers, we can see that the Xenos organization has three virtual data centers. For example, here we can see Reserved 1 is a deployment inside of the Platinum Virtual Data Center organization. We can see the resources allocated, and we can see the virtual apps and virtual machines that are deployed right now in this virtual data center. We can also see performance information. We can quickly see CPU, memory, and storage of the virtual data center, and we can also see, thanks to Xenos's ability to bridge the gap between vCloud and vSphere, the actual utilization and performance when it comes to resource pools such as raw CPU usage and memory from the vSphere environment. Looking at the virtual applications that are deployed, we can see the current performance information. Now, vCloud does not provide detailed performance information of individual virtual machines or virtual apps. Xenos has to pull its information directly from vSphere to help remove any need to manually correlate data from different devices. We also pull information from the guest operating system. So in the case of this virtual app, we can see information from vSphere, such as CPU usage, raw CPU usage, memory usage, and then we can continue on and to get guest OS performance information and guest application. For example, from this Linux box, we're going to see that there's load average, CPU utilization, memory utilization, and eventually, as I scroll down here, we're going to see information about the Tomcat and JSF, JSP application that's running in this environment. We'll see guest threads, CPU time, open file descriptors, and so on, that helps you get performance information of the entire virtual application. Xenos also provides a dynamic view that gives you visibility of the entire infrastructure of your vCloud. So this, this lets you see information such as the ESX hosts that the provider virtual data centers are deployed upon, the LUN and the storage location of the storage information data stores, and then the hardware behind the entire platform. For example, here we have uh, two blades and two different chassis from a Cisco UCS device that are providing services to this vCloud instance. We also have a cloud view. Xenos provides this view to give you an understanding of what and how your resources inside your organization are currently partitioned uh, for the vCloud. For example, we can see our three different provider virtual data centers, all the organizations, and then the virtual data centers that those organizations have established. Xenos also gives you visibility into the business services that your infrastructure is providing. In this example, we've created an email system that's being provided by four different devices. Xenos automatically determines the linkages behind these devices so you can see the physical, virtual, and cloud-based infrastructure and any alerts or events that need to be addressed. In this example, we can see that we have the AIX device, which is a physical device, an Oracle device, which is deployed directly on top of the Cisco UCS system, and then two virtual servers. One of the virtual servers is deployed directly inside of our vCloud environment, where we can see the virtual and provider data centers and the ESX hosts and the linkage into the storage and eventually down to the hardware. This gives us visibility from an end-to-end -end perspective and will help with mean time resolution. This concludes our vCloud management demo with Xenos. Thanks for your time today.